What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to give you part one uh, of a new offensive ski offensive series I'm doing here, uh, Pistol Trips. And uh, I do apologize for my absence over the last couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, just a lot of stuff hit me at the same time and uh, just wasn't prepared. And I left my recording equipment, my college, and I uh, just unfortunately haven't been able to get a video up. But uh, that's definitely going to change. Um, and I'm going to get on top of things here. I've got a couple of hours here to kind of get back in the groove. Um, so real quickly, I just want to go through and show you a quick little offense that I've been working with. Um, and the playbook that I'm in is the Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, it's a very simple offense. Uh, it's very easy to uh, kind of thought processes are very easy. Um, we're going to be taking a look here out of the pistol trips. Uh, and I'm, I'm using the Denver Broncos, but this can work with any team with good uh, three good receivers. All right, and uh, the base play you want to come out in, um, you can come out in strong power, but you have the halfback stretch as your quicks. Um, you can set up your quicks accordingly, but uh, today's video is just going to be about the strong power. I right, know we know how good uh, of a run the strong power is in Madden 25. And, um, but one of the reasons that it's really good from the trips formation is because if they base a line, their defense, they become unbalanced on the left side of the field. You, have, you see how we have three receivers to their two defenders. So we could playmaker this run to the left, and now we still have our numbers advantage with no Sean Marina. All right, and then if they don't base the line, then they're really in trouble, especially out of a popular defense like the Nickel Strong, because once again, you see how the, uh, the, the wide open gashes uh, are really, really open, uh, really really clear uh, to kind of see how big play of potential uh, this run has, especially if they fail to base the line. Now some people's method for stopping the strong power is to use the cover three and pinch their defensive line. And now what we like to do if we see this look, and so say they base the line, we'll playmaker this to the left, and we're simply going to take this receiver and motion him in to the guard, and he's going to hold that little seal uh, in the middle to kind of spring us to the edge. And there you see how we're getting uh, positive yardage. This is one minor adjustment uh, you can do if your opponent is using uh, the cover three tip uh, that I, th I think it was, uh, I actually think it was Gibbs who put this out. This is really good run defense. Uh, but what they'll do is I'll take the safety, they'll come down, they'll sit uh, at the line of scrimmage. I'm going to try to do this with two fingers, or two hands, excuse me. Uh, but they're going to hold R2. And they're going to use the auto assist. So in this instance, we would want to run it to the left because they base the line. So again, we're going to use that tactic. We're going to motion him in. And now you see we get the guy picked up there, and now it's huge, huge yardage. All right? And then real quickly, I just want to show you what happens uh, if they do the same thing. And, and they do it out of a... Uh, so we're running it to the right here. And so if you see him stacking this guy in the A-gap, once again, we're going to run to the right. So we're going to bring Decker across. They'll follow him, but it's really not that big of a deal. And then we'll snap. He'll get picked up. And then again, look at the big time gash uh, and wide open running lanes we have. Now that's one little adjustment we can do to make the strong power just a little bit better um, is use that motion. Whether they baseline or not, but just getting that security over the guard to make sure that they don't shoot through. And they, this gives the run the, the time it needs to develop. All right, and again, I really like to do it. Uh, every time but if they, if you want to just kind of wait until they're using that tactic against you uh, that's perfectly fine um, but once you see them pinch their line you know that that's that something's up so once you see a look like this you know that that pinch line uh, means they're probably going to be doing that cover three trick and um, we need to use that motion there and I think on that one I actually accidentally um, I accidentally uh, forgot to make a proper read here so like say in this situation we're going to run a left but we can motion Welker or Decker across, and it's going to seal the middle off, and then we're going to get those two-point guards out there, and uh, we'll get a seal here and a seal there and running in the alley. All right, guys, so that's the first trick uh, to this pistol trip scheme. Uh, it's, it's the running. It's the strong power. It's the potential uh, for big playability. We're going to get into some of the passing later on in the week. But thank you guys for your time today, and uh, I'm going to try to be getting up a couple of videos up a day uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks to kind of get back in the groove of things. Uh, so I just wanted to start this out with a pistol trips, and then we are going to have some defensive stuff and some other tips as well uh, coming soon. So be stay tuned to the channel for that, and I uh, hope you guys have